Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom. I'm pregnant with a baby boy and I'm just about to be 38 weeks. My back and my hips are really starting to feel it at this point. So we are patiently awaiting his arrival. I thought I'd go ahead today and do a baby haul for you. This is kind of a part two or a follow up to my original baby shower haul that I did. I'll go ahead and link that for you if you haven't already seen it. But this is just gonna be everything that I have remaining on my baby registry to purchase. We'll go ahead and get right into it. I'll make sure to link everything for you and I'll try and categorize it to the best of my abilities to have some sort of order as we go through. But I am super excited that you're here and let's get into it. So the first thing that we have is the Little Remedies Newborn Essential Kit. I got this right off of Amazon. I think I got it for right around $15. And what's great about it is it kind of has a little smorgasbord of everything that I might potentially need. So it has, you know, gas drops, it has saline solution, has some diaper cream in there, it has things for fevers, for his stomach. So I felt like this would kind of be a good starting point to figure out what I like and what I don't like. So I think that this would be really good to just kind of keep underneath the changing table. God forbid we actually do need to use it. Next, I purchased this Kite Baby hairbrush set. It comes with three. It has a comb, it has a really soft bristle one, and then the one that's kind of more similar to like a wet brush. There are some cheaper ones out there on the market. This one's definitely a little bit pricier, but it comes with three and a lot of the kids typically don't. It's made out of bamboo. I think it has goat hair as well. So a little bit bougie, I feel like, as far as baby brushes go, but I'm a sucker for like the natural wood look and I like when it all matches. And some of the other ones on Amazon, they have the all wood, but they don't all match. I feel like that would just like bother me. So go ahead and grab this if you can. I have really good reviews compared to some of the other ones which complained about combs breaking it. So I'm hoping that this will be a really good quality product to have for future children as well. For our thermometer, me and Dakota already have like one of those standard thermometers that you can do on the forehead, but apparently that's not very accurate, especially for young babies. So we just went ahead and got the Free to Baby 3-in-1 True Temperature. And what's great about this is it's multi-use. You can use it for oral, rectal, or armpit. And so I think that no matter how we take the temperature, and I'm sure I'll leave that up to Dakota because I'd probably get too nervous to do it, be able to use this for different reasons. And I feel like as he grows and taking his temperature kind of changes a little bit in the requirements, this will be able to be used for a long time. Similar to the Frida Baby Thermometer, we also purchased the Ear, Nose, and Nail Picker. In this way, it's kind of just a three-in-one product. You'll probably notice I really try to do my best to try and find things that have multi-functions. That way I'm not just like hoarding a bunch of baby products and I don't have space to put anything. So this would be able to be used for a bunch of different things and it's also pretty compact and it comes with a cute little storage case too to keep it nice and clean. And next, no shocker here, I received the boss bag for Ritzy Ritzy as my diaper bag and I received the packing cubes, the binky case, and the hand sanitizer holder for it. The last thing I just needed to complete it is just the little wallet. And so this is black with gold hardware. I can just throw this into the diaper bag and just kind of go and not have to worry about bringing my purse with me. So I'm definitely excited to have the full set of everything. Next for our diaper bag, I actually purchased some doggy bags for stinky diapers when we're out and about and I don't wanna just stink up someone's trash can. And so the reason I got this was mainly just because the container itself is black and I wanted it to match the diaper bag, purely aesthetic reasons. Arm & Hammer does make the typical one that you will usually see. I believe Ubi makes one as well. They all do the same thing and they all work pretty much the same. I mean, I feel like you can't get too complicated when it comes for a trash bag for diapers. But basically one money saving hack I can give you is if you just get the doggy ones, they are typically a lot cheaper. The world we live in, I feel like as soon as you say it's for a baby, the price just like skyrockets for some reason. So Amazon sells a bunch of doggy bags. You can grab them at Target, you can get them at Petco, different places like that if you didn't necessarily want to get the baby refills. For the cartridges, you can go ahead and just get the regular dog ones too. 
If you watched my baby shower haul, you will know that I was gifted the Munchkin Step diaper pail, which I'm really, really grateful for. We also received the year supply of the bag refills. We just needed to purchase the baking soda cartridges that go on top of the diaper pail to try and keep the odor contained. And so I just purchased three of these, that way we can use them and have them for a couple months. They're lavender scented. So we went ahead and got the Bumco Bum Brush in gray. Basically just a spatula that you can put diaper cream on and you can put it on the baby easier. That way you're not getting your hands all gunky trying to do it. You're either for or against these, I feel like. They're not necessarily an essential. I've done it both ways. I've used these one nanny, and then I've also not had these available to me. I definitely am for this, and so I just went ahead and grabbed these. So it'll be very useful when doing diaper changes. And then to go along with the bum brush, we just went ahead and got the Hello Bello diaper cream. I'm definitely a huge Hello Bello fan. We have their wipes and we have their diapers, and so it only makes sense to go ahead and try out their diaper cream. But hopefully this will actually work out really well. I definitely like it because it has a little bit more natural products in it, but when it comes to diaper rash, I feel like babies can be so sensitive that, you know, when in doubt, Aquaphor or Triple Paste, I feel like there's also a really good option for people out there if you don't necessarily care, nor you want to try and go with the natural route. So definitely check those out as well. I also purchased two of these. It's the 600 count of the Hello Bella White. Definitely check out my baby shower haul and I went into a really in-depth reason as to why I'm choosing this brand specifically, but can never have too many wipes, so we're definitely stocked up. For bathing, we got the Free the Baby Control the Flow bath rinser. What's great about this product is it's not necessarily an essential. Your hand or any old cup I'm sure will do just fine, but it is great for both newborns and toddlers. So this part right here has a bunch of holes in it, so it kind of just has a slower flow when you don't necessarily need a lot of water for a newborn. But then you can also use this part to pour when you want to use it for a toddler, so we'll use it for many years to come. And then we also went ahead and purchased a six pack of the white Hip Hop Panda washcloths. I am obsessed with the Hip Hop Panda brand. We now have two of their bath towels for the baby, and so I had to go ahead and get the same brand. So they're made out of bamboo, and they're so incredibly soft. If I had to guess, Dakota's gonna probably try and steal the baby's washcloth because we just like talk about how soft his bath towel is all the time and how we're so jealous. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out the Hip Hop Panda brand. A Little bit more pricey than you might find for just some standard washcloths, of course, but the bamboo quality of it really justifies the price. So super excited about these. I went ahead and purchased the My Breast Friend. This is the super deluxe version, and I believe the color is platinum. It's just like a nice, soft, light gray color. I had previously been gifted a cover for my boppy in my baby shower haul, and I received my boppy free off of Facebook Marketplace, and I was gonna use it for not only tummy time, but for breastfeeding as well. But when I try to sit with the pillow, it sits very low on me and doesn't have a lot of support. I'm almost 6'2", so I definitely have a longer torso. You can never tell by how much I slouch, but uh, a longer torso than some other people and so I felt like it just wasn't gonna be the best option for me So I did go ahead and purchase the my breast friend What's great about it is it has a buckle so you can buckle in and out It does have the back support with it where the boppy does not and then it's a little bit hard to tell But it does have two like raised edges over here for the baby's head to lay to kind of prop up It comes with a pocket these I believe are used so you can tell what side you nursed on last and then the buckle once you've adjusted your size that you need it to. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. It definitely feels better on my back and more secure. And I hope when I try breastfeeding, I also notice that same support. So I'll definitely update you guys on how the My Breast Friend is going. I'll still try nursing with the Boppy just so I can have an accurate comparison, but I feel like this is probably gonna end up being my go-to. And I also purchased a Hakka. I'm sure you've heard of this if you've watched any other hauls at this point, but if you haven't, basically how it works is when you're nursing on one side, you can put this product on the other side of the boob you're not nursing on and it catches your letdown. And so you're no longer wasting that milk going into like a nipple pad or things like that and you can slowly build your stash. So this specific version has a lid for when I'm done and then it also has a suction bottom to kind of just put it down on the nightstand. That way it doesn't tip over and I don't lose my liquid gold. If you're not familiar, this is kind of how it works. 
Paka does make different generations of it, and so there's a couple of different options. You can do without the suction bottom, you can do it with the stopper at the top, different things like that. I don't necessarily have a preference, I just want it to work good and not spill, and so this kind of seemed like it had all those things. And then once I've used my Haka to collect my letdown, I got some breast milk storage bags. These would be great to just put the milk in there, lay it flat, and be able to store it in the freezer for whenever we do decide that we want to start giving him a bottle. And then keeping right on the trend to go with that as well, I did purchase some Kia Babies Organic Bamboo Nursing Pads. It comes in a pack of 14. They're definitely a little bit larger. I think that might be good to kind of make sure that any drippage is caught and I'm not sitting there soaking wet. But I wanted to go ahead and get reusable ones just because I like the fact that you can throw them in the washer and dryer. I got white so they could be bleached and I feel like hopefully these will work better than having to keep buying disposable ones. And then next I went ahead and purchased the Frida Mom Sore Nipple Set. What's great about this is it's a saline solution and the bomb. And so basically the way it works from my understanding is you can go ahead and spray the saline solution right onto your boob and then you don't need to wipe it away or anything and then you can go right ahead and apply the balm right to it. I think that this will be good just to kind of have two different options. I know a lot of time people go with the Lansno one, there's nipple butter, and so different options out there. I just wanted to go ahead and try this to see if it works out well with the two combo. And then if not, I'll kind of just explore other options out there. I could be wrong, but I believe this is a newer product in the Freedom Mom line. And so I'll definitely keep you updated on how well this is working for us. The main postpartum item that I got, and I was really actually surprised to find this, was this Lanzano like multi-use pack. And what's great about this is it comes with a Perry bottle. It comes with postpartum healing spray and then it also comes with ice packs. The healing spray is very similar to probably Dermaplast that we'll all get in the hospital, but the ice packs you can either have frozen or you can heat them up and so it kind of was just like a really good option I feel like depending on where I am at in my recovery. It's like $30 for all three of these and so I felt like it was a really good bundle deal for what you actually get. So I'm pretty excited to use this. In terms of larger purchases that we bought, we only really had two. The first one is the glider that I'm currently sitting in. We purchased the Da Vinci Gabby Pillowback Swivel Glider in the color Natural Oat. The main reason is just because it's kind of geared towards taller parents. Like I've said, I'm super, super tall, and so that kind of gears a lot of my choices when I buy things. And so I kind of just like the color of it. I overall like the fact that it could swivel. It does not recline, but we have a foot ottoman that kind of compensates for that. And then the back goes right up to my shoulders, so it has a nice support for me. And then of course Dakota just thinks it's comfortable to sit in too. So overall we're happy with the quality of it so far. It's definitely not a bulky glider, a little bit more on the minimal side, which is kind of what I was gearing for. So overall I'm really happy and excited to rock the baby in it for sure. For our stroller, we went ahead and got the Up A Baby Cruise V2 in the color Grayson. I knew for a fact, even before I got pregnant, I was going to get an Up A Baby stroller. They're just really, really nice quality, really easy to drive and to push and things like that, which I feel like is kind of underrated when it comes to strollers sometimes. I feel like people see price tags of strollers and like, we're getting the cheapest one, but I feel like sometimes you really do end up paying the price for that when they're a little bit more difficult to push on different terrains. So. We went with the Up Baby Cruise V2, definitely a little bit of a splurge, but we were able to use our Bye Bye Baby 15% registry completion discount on it, which was fantastic. I think it saved us like $150 right off the top, so I was so happy about that. I definitely love Up Baby's quality of their products. The handlebar can extend very high, and so I was happy about that, whereas a lot of times other strollers don't have that. You can reverse the seat to face you or face away from you. It has a really large sun canopy. It's very easy and compact to fold down. And so just kind of when you're looking at ease of use of a stroller plus quality of a stroller, Up A Baby just fit that bill for us. I recognize it is a little bit more of an expensive stroller. That's not necessarily in your budget or what you're looking to spend on a stroller. Totally understand. Lots of other good options out there. But if you can or you do want to make the investment in a stroller, definitely check out the Up A Baby lines. We were definitely torn whether to go with the Cruise or the Vista, which is their double-seater stroller, but we kind of decided that we don't plan to necessarily have kids 
directly back to back, I would like to at least have one kind of be somewhat independent. And so chances are at that point, they'll wanna ride on the piggyback option that you can add to the back of the stroller and not necessarily sit in the seat. So cruise just kind of seemed like the better option for us. But if you have multiple children or you're planning to have kids extremely close in age, definitely check out their Vista option. Overall, I'm probably the most excited to use our Appa Baby stroller. And then to go along with our stroller, not only were we able to use the completion discount, but they were also running a promotion where if you bought a Cruise V2, you could get a free infant snug seat, which is just this gray seat. that sits right inside the stroller. And what's great about it is when the child is really, really young, it provides a good like neck support, but you can remove that and then use it as a seat liner when they get older. So it's kind of multi-purpose and we got it for free. So everybody loves something free. <laughs> I also went ahead to go with our stroller and purchase the actual seat liner from Up A Baby. This is the color Reed. What's great about this is it's machine washable. It has two sides. So this side is more of like a denim-y type of material. And this side is knitted for when it's a little bit colder. I'm not sure what I plan to do. I might just keep this, but I might just utilize the infant snug seat as the actual seat liner. I kind of like the option for different temperatures, but I'm not sure if it really does truly make a difference. So the jury's still out on this one. If I exchange it, I might not. But overall, I am just looking to protect the integrity of the stroller. So either option will be good, depending on which one you're looking for and the color options you are looking for as well. Keeping on with the accessories and things like that, we went ahead and just purchased two sunshades for the car. These had by far the best reviews. They're magnetic, so they stretch to fit any sort of car window and things like that. I know a lot of times people have issues depending on which car you have of them not staying, if they're suction cupped or if they're magnetic, they don't fit. So we just purchased two of those, one for each car, and we're hoping that it'll keep the sunlight out of the baby's eyes. Next, for our baby carrier, we were gifted the Baby Bjorn Carrier Mini in the color light gray, and so I just went ahead and purchased like the drool bibs that go with it. And these are great, they're white, they're machine washable, and they just attach right onto the carrier itself, so when he starts to drool or he starts to teeth, not gonna ruin the actual carrier, we can just go ahead and pop one of these or pop one off and wash it. So we're definitely hoping to just keep the integrity of the carrier for many years to come for our second child to actually be able to use it too. In terms of bedding and things like that, I actually am going to be using these changing pad liners. It's a two-pack I found off of Amazon. I'm hoping they'll be able to fit my bassinet, which is the Skip Hop 2-in-1 Cozy Up. I'm just not a fan of the pattern that comes with the bassinet on the sheet, and so hopefully these will be the correct size. I can just use these, and there's two of them in there, so I can pop them off and on really easily as well. So hopefully these will work. And then for sleep swaddles, we have been gifted one, and we just purchased a second one of the Petite Dreams wearable sleep sack. It also comes with a pair of mittens in the color gray. And then I purchased the Hudson Baby wearable blanket as well. This is a fleece material. We got two of them. And this will be great because it's a larger size for when he's actually outgrown the little burrito swaddles that we'll have him in. So we have two of these in fleece and then our petite dream swaddles are like a cotton material for different weather temperatures. We live in Connecticut and so the weather is like crazy and it changes by the day. And so definitely just having some different options for him will work out great for us. Then I did go ahead and just purchase a very basic white muslin blanket. This will be great as far as a stroller blanket, it's like lightweight, it'll be really great for taking photos as a backdrop as well. I feel like everyone needs at least like one muslin blanket in their inventory because it's very multi-use and multi-functional. So I'm just happy that we'll just have one for whatever we might need it for. I'll probably lay this as the backdrop when we do his first photo at the hospital with his name announcement. So definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram to find out what baby boy's name is. And then I just happened to be at Target and I couldn't resist these cute little sale they were having on these baby clothes. So it's just a two piece set. This is like a dark gray. And then a light gray with little crosses on it. I got them in the size nine to 12 months. They look very, very large. But what's great about these, is you can always just roll up the sleeves or the pants because there's no feet on these and get multiple uses out of them even when he's a little bit smaller. 
And then this next purchase, I know all of my seasoned moms are rolling their eyes right now, but I just couldn't resist. I had to buy these booties. They were on clearance for like $3. Look at how cute these little booties are from Target. Like you're gonna try and tell me that $3 a coffee? That's a coffee, people. We couldn't get these booties. They're just so stinking cute. Like look at these little things. Like I, I'm, I just can't, I'm just so excited for him to be here. He'll look so cute with these on, even though it's, maybe if it's just for a picture, like that's good enough for me, but I was just like, I had to get these. <laughs> I don't know what it was about this one Target trip I took a couple days ago, but I felt like the baby gods were talking to me. I was in the travel section picking up some items for my hospital bag, which will be my next video coming out, so make sure you're subscribed. But I was just grabbing some like shampoo or something, and this wooden toy thing was just like sitting there all lonely and abandoned in one of the bins. Clearly someone had just left it there. But I was like, I'm a sucker for some wooden toys. Like th these are cute. And then I looked and they were three dollars. It comes in this cute little like carrying case that has like a little rope that he can kind of trot along with him for three dollars. Like you're kidding me. And so I went ahead and just grabbed these as well. And then off of Amazon, I went ahead and just purchased some monthly milestone photo cards. They're like a, a wooden material and they just say, you know, one month, two month, all the way through 12. And so I think I'll use these for his monthly photos. And from an Etsy shop, I went ahead and purchased some closet dividers came in this cute little bag. They come with five dividers to put right into the closet. You don't necessarily need them. They're not essential, of course, but I just love organization and things like that. So I went ahead and purchased the baby set. And then I ended up actually having a little bit of an issue with the shipping from the seller. And so, you know, she was so apologetic about it. She gave me a really good discount if I ever wanted to purchase the toddler set. So I went ahead and actually purchased the matching toddler set as well. So I'll be able to use these as he continues to grow and the sizes change of his clothes to keep them nice and organized. And then next for books, I got a bunch of different books to be honest. I felt like the ones that I had put on my registry for my baby shower were very much more kiddish, so more fun to read. And then I went ahead and just kind of purchased some more purposeful books. I feel like it's never too early to start. This one is just baby sign language. Just like four or five signs that are really basic, you know, diaper, more, milk, things like that that he'll be able to use actually as a baby. Then went ahead and purchased this 10 pack of bilingual first books. We definitely plan to try and raise the baby bilingual in both English and Spanish, and so this is kind of just a good introduction to animals, ABCs, numbers, and things like that. And then I grabbed some books that are classic nursery rhymes, but it's in both English and Spanish. So we have Pat a Cake and Wheels on the Bus. If you don't know, my fiance Dakota is black, and so obviously our son is going to be black, and so I felt like it is my job as a mom to not only educate myself on what it means to raise a black baby in today's society but to embrace that as well and so i know growing up my baby dolls my barbies my books everything was white everybody was white in it and so i didn't want him to just have that same experience as i did i want him to be familiar with seeing asians and blacks and whites and you know everybody so i felt like i would just grab him some books kind of just encourage and promote people that look like him or that don't necessarily look like him but that's okay too and so the first one is just young gifted and black this one is who was martin luther king jr and then i purchased some baby faces and then global babies in both english and spanish the abcs of black history and the shades of black as well and then of course we just got the classic Wizard of Oz, probably one of my favorite childhood movies. So I had to get the book when I saw this. We also went ahead and got the Three Little Pigs. And then kind of just as a joke, because Dakota really likes video games, we just got this video gamer baby. Finally, it's never too early to start the parent rivalry of if my child will like soccer or if my child will like basketball more. Dakota obviously loves soccer, I love basketball. And so these just kind of teach him the basic fundamentals of each game. And so it's just kind of fun for us to see which one he's going to end up liking more. <laughs> Alright guys, that about does it. I hope you enjoyed this baby haul and I hope it gave you some inspo if you're maybe looking to see what you should grab for your babe. I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!